Okay. What's his name? Happy. Happy. Yeah. He's so cute. So Happy is a little three months old guinea pig that's come in for a check. And he had what they thought might be fungal on him and they've given him baths in Malaseb, so absolutely done the right thing because it is a little bit of fungal. But added to that, he has a really thick, dense coat. So as a little pup, he could be prone to mites um, in the sense that he's going through a change. He's recently lost his parents because he's only so young. He's now on his own. And it's when stresses start to occur with guinea pigs, either through illness or other things, mites can really start to take hold. Now, mites, you'll hear people talk about them with guinea pigs. They're ectoparasitic. And what that means is that they can live in a symbiotic relationship with an animal. They can happily live there and not bother them. But when they get out of control, that's when we get really serious issues that we see. He is not with it out of control at all. Not at all. <laughs> not at all. You're doing everything right in looking after him and checking him. But because he has got a longer coat and because he's on his own, that makes him a little bit more vulnerable given that, you know, they're going to come with the hay. You just want to make sure you're on top of that. So you can treat them topically with ivermectin and revolution, which are the, the two medications that are used for that. Um, in the past, days of old, it was sulfur-based medications. And we've got a video that people can actually look at because there are countries in the world that don't have access to Ivermec or to Revolution. So they can still use these other areas. And I'll put a link in this video as well. But what I wanted to share is that he's been having bars, which are from here down, fantastic. But he does have some little fungal bits in and around the ears. So we'll, I'll show you those and I'll be able to get close to the camera so that you can look at it later as well and see up close because because of COVID, we can't get physically close at the moment. But the other interesting thing I wanted to share is little boys and what happens with long hair. <laughs> because look down here, this is his little boy bit. You can see the hair is stuck in there. <laughs> can you see that? So. And that's typical. That's, I'll show YouTube here. You see his little boy bits have got the hair stuck right in there. Oop, hold on little guy, hold on. See, look, look at the hair stuck inside. And this is, you know, part of what goes, this is actually in his peepee. -pee. It's actually caught in his peepee -pee area. It's not in the perineal sac, so we're just gonna help him with that. Take it out, because that must be a little bit painful to have it stuck in there. With longer coated guinea pigs, we often see, you know, it acting like a tourniquet. Sorry, I know you want it out of there. You can see it's really, yeah, it's really stuck in there. Look at that. Wow. I know, that must be so sore. Come on, we'll get that out. Come on. It's really stuck right down around his little pee, -pee. Look at that. I know, it's sore. Come on, we're gonna help you. Yeah, we're going to get that out. I know, little guy. I know. That's not good. That's really sore. See, it's stuck. I oh, know, your whole boy bits will hurt with that. Okay, let me get a little bit of this. A little bit of this. Hold on. We're just going to help you with this. This is just oil just to help release that hair it's stuck right down around the base of his little boy bit. I know, how did you get it down there, hey? But you did. And this is one thing with long coated guinea pigs is to check because often it can act as a tourniquet on that area and really, really hurt them. So there we go. All right, we'll just put that back away. Yeah, put it away. Is that better now? There's no hair in there now. <laughs> so, problem solved. But yeah, you can see how it, that literally can form a tourniquet around there. So, checking that, you don't need to do it every day. And um, it's just important to check every now and then. Like I did, literally lift you, the way you hold him is around under the tummy under his bottom and then tilt him backwards like that. Yeah. 
so it's easy to see. And you can easily see, oh, no hair stuck. That's good. Now he does have a perineal sac, which is down here. That's the bit underneath. See that brown bit? There. He's probably got hair stuck in it as well. He's only a baby, but it's just, look, wait a minute. Let's just check you out, little guy. Hold on. Seeing you've got a hair problem, I'm just gonna check that, good. So that area is all right. It was just catching at the front. So just keep an eye on that with him. Okay, I oh, know you don't, you've been very good. Now, you didn't expect that, did you? <laughs> okay, so in terms of what's going on with his ears, and you can look at the video after, or the YouTube stream after, you'll see it. With his ear, um, I'm just gonna take him up close here so I can show it on the camera. Actually, I'm gonna hold you a bit differently, little guy. Here, like this. There. Just so you're a bit more settled. But in his ear, he's got lots of little lumps of scaly skin forming in around there. And it's, it looks like dandruff, like little clumps of dry skin, that's fungal. So you did the right thing in bathing him with a maliseb, but his ears also need wiping out. So hopefully that's showing in there. Okay, so maliseb is fantastic. Maliseb in water, which is a product that you can get over the counter. Um, but I've got a little bit of that in here in water. Literally, I'm just going to wipe it away. <laughs> it's that easy. Under a microscope, which I'm wearing, he's got a very active little ear here going on. Hey. And we've got lots of videos you can watch up close to know what I'm doing here. Mm. And then you can follow along. What's that? No, really when you do his nails, um, which is about every six weeks, and he's, he's sort of too young at the moment. So you'll do it around five months. So that's the next time to do his ears as well. So just do ears and nails together. It's like a thorough check or come back here in you know two three months and we'll check on him again and see how he's going <coughs> it's this year that had most in it Sorry? Oh no, because the first time we bathed him, it was so stressful. Oh. I was just telling him the next time when we do this, it will be like two men jog. <laughs> <laughs> bathing him should be okay. Have a look on the videos we do on bathing. Yeah. So you can do it calmly with him. But you know, there's ways to hold them like I am that keep them comfortable and they're not going to shoot off and do anything. Like he's. He's quite stable there with one hand. And, you know, what you need to do is, um, actually, I'll just finish this one up. We'll let you go, little guy, because you're going to go home to your mum and dad. Super cute. I'm going to check you again soon. <laughs>